I'd always enjoyed starting things. I'd started some things in my earlier career, and I was impressed with Duke from reading Earl Porter's book, From Trinity to Duke. When I had the call from them, I was pleased to come. The very earliest days, we, we really didn't have a graduate school of business. When I first came, uh, the portion of the economics department that had been business administration was separated, and that became our department. So the earliest faculty all earned their keep by teaching undergraduate uh, courses. And that was a department of business administration. We transformed that into a department of management science in keeping more with the kind of thing we wanted to do in the graduate program. There were just four of us in the very first faculty set. It was Louis Pondy, who was an undergraduate physicist and then got his uh, master's and doctorate at Carnegie Mellon. Helmi Belig, who came with me from uh, University of Illinois, and he had graduated at Berkeley, and Tom Keller, who was already at Duke. We taught undergraduates for about three years, I guess, before we actually got trustee approval, curriculum approval, and all of that to admit the first students to the MBA program. And there was a small group of students, so it was a very intimate, close, uh, close-knit group of people. The most difficult thing we faced was the fact that uh, we had a notion of, of a program that hadn't yet been developed. So we, we didn't subscribe to existing programs. We didn't say, we're going to copy Harvard. No, we said, we want the best program that we know how to do. Since there were only four of us in the very beginning, it was essential that we bring in very good faculty. And that's when we brought in Rich Burton and Danny Lawhon, John Forsyth, Jim Vanderweede. Uh, those people came in and, and uh, really made the difference on the quality of faculty because we were expanding and, and we needed good people. When he first came here, he clearly had uh, several goals that he, to which he devoted his energy, uh, recruiting of faculty. And he had to have that faculty core. And secondly, was to uh, get on a path to really, to get truly bright students. Lou was uh, disliked sort of the status quo and he wanted a different uh, business school from the beginning. And uh, he could get quite excited about talking and not about uh, what is, but what could be. And, how that we could move ahead. We had a different curriculum from any other, much more of an emphasis on uh, reasoning, on mathematical modeling, on uh, quantitative analysis. Duke University uh, indicated they did not want to try to just be another business school. There were too many out there. We were new to the game. Uh, so to make an impact and have uh, you know, a value-added uh, business school, we had to find an innovative approach, something different, something uh, unique that would set Duke apart from the other schools that were already there with a long history. I taught the first finance class that was ever taught in the MBA program and, and uh, there was no model to go by. I had to design a new, a new finance uh, course and a, and a set of electives in finance. Uh, so there was a lot of, of time uh, preparing uh, in that regard uh, for those courses. Well, what we were trying to accomplish was uh, to create a program that was integrated and efficient. That, for example, if something was taught in course A, then it would be taught in course B only if it was necessary to be taught under those conditions of course B. Otherwise, everything that everybody used would be collected and taught together in one course. Everybody did what needed to be done and shared in the burden. And uh, those who, of us who were administrators in the program all taught a full load um, because we wanted to. That was the attitude. People wanted to make the program work. You didn't know exactly what you were going to be asked to do, uh, all the way from uh, uh, student admissions to graduation to policy to teaching new courses. And so it was quite an exciting time because uh, uh, there was very little set in place and so the, the whole challenge was to make it work and, and uh, see if we couldn't do better from uh, year to year. 
We were uh, right next to the Allen building and the, and the same building that the economics department was in. So we also interacted uh, very extensively with the, with the faculty in the economics department. They were given offices, a few of them in the basement, and very poor ventilation, uh, very little natural light. I didn't have one complaint from a faculty member about the quarters we had. They just worked hard on getting the job done. I admire his courage. It's, it's very, very difficult to start a new business school uh, from scratch. Uh, there were other programs around the country and even, even in North Carolina, 10 miles down the road, that were already developed, uh, had faculty, had students. Uh, it's a very difficult task to do all of that uh, from the beginning. I think Lou's uh, uh, greatest contribution was to start us off as a different school with the notion that uh, we could uh, be much better than we were on a continuing basis. Some of the things he, that were obvious that he left a legacy was integrity, for example, uh, outspokenness. He, he knew what he thought. And, and, uh, and he explained to you why, and it wasn't necessarily personal, whether he, he, he agreed with what you did or not. Uh, and, and, and the dedication to the school and the two students. They were the ones we were working for, not, for, not us. He had a, a good opportunity at Columbia. He had an opportunity to head the business school there as, as dean. For us, it was a, it was a decision of whether we should uh, look internally for, for a dean in, in, in that transition or should we look externally. And uh, we chose to, to, uh, to go with Dan Lawhon. It was, it was pretty unanimous at that time because he was well admired by the faculty and he knew what the philosophy of the program was. I basically took it because I knew that we had to continue the momentum and I in fact told the administration I would keep it up to three years as long as we could make the uh, achievement and accomplishments that I was after in those three years. If I did it in a month, I would leave after a month. It took us a year. And it was a great transition year for Duke in lots of ways and certainly for the business school because of what Dan accomplished during that year. I think the main thing that he'll be remembered for during that year's deanship was uh, his recruiting of outstanding faculty. The results of his efforts uh, paid off in, in Cal Cohen, who is now retired, and Ari Lewin, who is still active in the school, and Wes McGott, who is now deceased, but who was a very popular associate dean here. Those three individuals were recruited during Dan's year as dean, so he, that's clearly a major focus that he had, and it was obviously successful. The first executive development program grew out of some research that Danny Lawhon and John Forsyth did. They had worked with one of the major banks, and so they had a, a banking executive development program. And from there it grew and grew. I've seen him as, of course, uh, working with executives in executive education. And there he really is demanding of himself, extremely demanding, in this constant search for excellence, or pursuit of excellence. Dan never gives 100%. He gives 110% at all times. It's almost uh, surprising and amazing to me that, that we've come so far, given how uh, meager the start was uh, when we first uh, launched the business school. They were special people in that they were happy to be pioneers in a new endeavor. I think all of us shared uh, a notion that we had a mission. It's like a family. It's, it's been a place that is always strive, no matter how good we get. I think there's always a passion to get better. The program the school had, even today, can be traced to the one we started. We all felt that we were on the ground floor of, of a very exciting development. It was uh, incredibly exciting for me to have the opportunity to start a new school.
that helped us grow together and it helped us uh, get a, a sense of, uh, of who we were and what we wanted to be and we shared a lot of those dreams and thoughts and, and together made them come, come to pass. So that's, it was a lot of fun.